All right, everybody, welcome back to this wet episode. Uh, in this uh, episode, I've got a future project coming up that's going to require some welding on some quarter inch thick angle iron. And because of that, I'm kind of I'm going to be using this new Miller Matic 350P. Now, don't get me wrong, it's very capable. But I want to know just how far can I idle it back and get the kind of weld that I want. And the idea here is I want to just do a, I want a square groove weld that I don't have to put much of any of a prep on to make it into a V groove. And so I'm going to do double sided, so a double square groove weld and hopefully only being quarter inch thick that around 18 19 volts range you know in the short circuit range that i can get complete penetration by welding one pass on both sides so that is where i hope to try it i'll probably start off i think of uh around 19 volts 200 inches per minute and I'm probably going to do another one more around 20 or 20 and a half volts. And I'll probably, probably kick the wire feed speed up about 230 maybe in that range. And from there, I'm going to probably cut and etch those and see if I can get the complete penetration. If not, then I will probably be forced to either do a bevel prep and the idea of keeping it cool is I just I want to limit my distortion I seem to have issues with distorting things when I weld them you know but hey I just like to weld so I'm gonna bring you in show you the weld symbol show you the setup and then we'll weld it cut it etch it and look at what we get all right so here we are uh, this is just what it's going to look like, your uh, square groove wedge, you just butt the pieces together, no prep really, I mean you can you can grind off or sand off any of the, the mill scale, but I'm not going to. Uh, and this is your weld simple, so what we've got is, I mean our, our arrow is just pointing to either or, if it was a prepped side then you would point the arrow to the side that's being prepped. but. Square groove symbol, that's it, just the two hash marks. And since it's both sides, I'm on both sides of my reference line. So again, other side, arrow side. All right, real quick, one more time. I am at 19 volts and 200 inches per minute. let that one cool off. On this one I'm going to write 20 and I think I'll go to 220. So I'll let that one cool off. Okay, so now that we've let it cool off for a little bit, we're just going to weld the other side up on both these samples at the perspectives, and then we'll cut them and see how well we got penetration.
Go ahead and put the 19 volt side on the left and the 20 volt side here on the right. And then just give it a quick pivot the wheel and go from there. Shake up some of the navel jelly. In case you guys haven't seen it yet, I am using just your regular Loctite Naval Jelly for etching of regular mild steels. There's no fun in that. So I went ahead and just hit it with a quick coat of clear. It kind of helps contrast, I think. So what we got this one on the uh, 19 volts and 200 inches per minute is that we didn't quite get full penetration. I mean, we got pretty close. It's it's admirable. Now, granted, this is a uh, a push that I used, just a slight push on each one. Imagine if I did a pull, you get a little bit deeper penetration on a pull, so that might be something to look into trying also. And then on the uh, the 20, 20 volt side and 220 inches per minute, almost but not quite, kind of the same story actually. Uh, I mean, I gotta say this etched out pretty nice, but... Uh, same story as far as penetration, so we can, I think for the application I can live with this, but we'll see what we want to go with. Anyways, again, as always, thanks for watching, and if you guys have some application or weld joint design question, please post it in the comments and I'll get back to you guys.